I mean, he's had his daughter whom he loves. So he's, uh, I'm like, this will help to make him more responsible. He's playing football what he loves. And, you know, we, at that time, I thought it was a good time for him. So I was su very surprised. You know, looking back now, some of the things like um, from, from educating myself, the little one with CTE, some of the things that, you know, they talk about mood swings and aggression and depression. I, I can clearly see some signs now. He was changing. You know, he was changing. He was still my son. And, you know, it was just like some of the aggressive and, you know, arguments and, you know, fighting that wasn't normal. It was uncharacteristic for who he was before. He had had a concussion in Pittsburgh. And we talked about it, and it, 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 I believe it was in 2012, and it was on it was on a nationally televised game. And I remember them going to the break, and my heart pounding because it was at the end of the game. I was like wondering what happened. Talking like maybe 30, 45 minutes later, and he was like, "Oh, Dad, I just had a concussion." He would talk to me sometimes about light bothering, um, you know, he, you know, sometimes he talked about headaches, but you know, I was just thinking that was just part of what he was doing. I had no idea that he was in a condition that he was in at that time. And during that time, I was thinking, well, maybe he's just blowing off steam or whatever. But prior to that, when he was in college, I noticed none of that. When he got to the pros, it just seemed like he was a different person. I remember him telling me, though, he said, Dad, it's like a blessing and a curse. I'll never forget that. You know, we was talking about the NFL. He said, it's like a blessing and a curse. He said, I said, what are you talking? He said, you'll understand. And I didn't understand. But I think the, the, the pressures of constantly being at the top level to even stay in the league or stay on the team and, you know, all the, the things that your body must endure to, to be better than the next person. If you have children playing contact sports, I think we should all be aware of, you know, the dangers of you know some of these sports and if you notice any changes in your child's behavior or you notice headaches or any problems like that get them to a doctor and I, I, I would say that every parent to just read up on it and understand who your child is and knowing if you see any changes because you don't want to sit where I'm sitting at this side of the table looking back and wishing if I would have did that.